Welcome to Geek Tech TV, where we do techy technology data vids. We do some fantastic stuff, man. I've seen the vids, Arbinder. It's mind blasting. Hey guys, in this video, we'll be removing the default 5400 RPM hard drive that comes with the 2011 uh, 13 inch MacBook Pro with a 7200 RPM drive and uh, seeing what speed gains we get. If you have a lot of stuff on your MacBook already, I suggest you make a time machine backup. You will need a Phillips screwdriver and a Torx T6 screwdriver. I'll show you how to restore your time machine backup in the next video when we're going to install the operating system. So I'll tell you the order of the screws. You have uh, small, large, 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 small, 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 just so you don't get lost. Uh, let's go ahead and unscrew those and I'll speed this up for you uh, just so you don't have to uh, spend 10 minutes watching me unscrewing screws. Um, once you've got all of the screws off, basically you uh, put your hand in the uh, notch uh, where the uh, vent is for the fan and uh, you simply um, lift it up. There's no cables or anything connecting to the bezel, so you don't really run the risk of um, stuffing anything up here. Um, that's what the bezel looks like, if you're interested. And um, let's get on to the job. Uh, once you've opened uh, the MacBook up, you should see all the parts there. You would have the battery, uh, the hard drive, which we're going to replace, um, the super drive, um, the fan, which probably goes on the CPU, and the RAM sticks, which is one on top of the other. Um, the speakers and also the vent for the fan to allow air to come in and cool the components inside your drive. Now there's um, two screws holding the hard drive in place attached to a small plastic piece. Um, those uh, screws can't come out completely uh, and they're attached to the plastic piece so there's no chances of losing them. So let's take out uh, the two screws. Um, now, each side of the plastic piece has an orange notch. You won't see one uh, on mine, simply because uh, I forgot one of the orange notches in there. You'll know what I mean once I pull it out. Uh, now, when I show this to you, you'll see on the right there's a little orange piece, and on the left there isn't, uh, which they're supposed to be. I just forgot it in there. I, I found it and put it back in later. If that happens, it's just a small rubber piece that you just put back on. Um, so put it down the way you found it and also I like to put the screws next to where I unscrew it from uh, it makes it easier to remember but uh, I've already told you the order pick up the little flap that's attached to the hard drive and simply lift um, nice and simple and there's a rubbery SATA cable attached to the hard drive simply remove that cable and your hard drives out now the thing that stops the hard drive from vibrating while it's inside your MacBook Pro is four Torx T6 screws that are attached on the sides of the hard drive as you can see them there. Um, take a closer look, the camera won't focus properly so excuse that but that's where the screws are. You need to take these screws out with your Torx T6 screwdriver and put them in your new hard drive so that your new hard drive doesn't vibrate. So that's our new drive that I'm showing you now with the screws in there. And uh, we simply just uh, do the reverse process. Let's put the SATA cable in. Make sure that's in nice and secure. Um, we don't want any problems while uh, after we close everything up. It's just going to be a pain. Uh, so put that baby down. Uh, just make sure you get it uh, nice and snug in its place. And uh, now we bring our little uh, plastic piece in. Um, and we'll put that down. And we'll uh, put the two screws in as well. Good thing is they're attached to the plastic piece. So um, we don't need to go and look for them. And uh, we screw those together and make sure the hard drive is nice and snug in its place. Um, and uh, after this I'll uh, do a boot test. Uh, which I did for the 5400 uh, RPM as well. To see if the 7200 really is uh, advantageous to have. So we've got the screws in. We're just uh, going to screw them nice and tight. And uh, the next step is quite simple, put the bezel back on. Um, and make sure you put the hard drive that you take out of your uh, MacBook Pro in an anti-static uh, bag, uh, just so it doesn't get uh, damaged. And uh, we're done. So that's uh, most of it done. We'll just put the bezel back on, or the backing, whatever you like to call it. Um, and it just goes in the same way that it came out. Uh, put it back on and the screw order is once again the same um, now we I'm just looking for the screws again now I've, I've put them in the same order that I, I took them out small large 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 small 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 um, just so you don't forget so I'm just uh, screwing the stuff back in place 
Uh, now, don't forget to check out our other videos uh, when we are comparing the boot time tests with the 5400 and 7200 RPM hard drives and uh, seeing if it's really worth getting one. But for now, we're done. Uh, please comment, subscribe, and uh, rate the video. Give us a thumbs up if uh, you liked it. Have a nice day.